Hey guys, welcome to my channel, uh, Freedom Fishing St. Augustine. If you've never been here before, welcome. Uh, I, I mostly a fishing YouTube page. I fish out of St. Augustine in Jacksonville out of the Freedom Boat Club. And I wanted to give a, uh, just a really quick review of the boat club. I've got one on my channel already if you want to search for that. It's a little bit longer. It shows all the boats. Josh from the St. Augustine uh, Club shows us all the different kind of boats. But I just want to give a real quick rundown of the, the pros and cons. Uh, obviously, I named my channel partly after Freedom Boat Club. Not completely. The, the reason for my channel is Spirit of the Lord is there's freedom. The freedom my wife and I love being on the boat. And, of course, Freedom Boat Club. I did name it partly after the club. Uh, let me give you the cons first. I think there's two cons to the club. And if, if you're thinking about joining, these are maybe the two reasons you wouldn't join. One of them is if you're a weekend warrior. If you're a weekend warrior and you're going to come out Saturdays and or Sundays, and you're going to wake up on Saturday morning and hope to go on the boat, that may not be possible. Uh, during the colder months and the non-summer, you might be able to get a, a boat on the weekend on the morning of, but most of the time you need to have a reservation a week to two weeks ahead of time to get a boat on Saturday or Sunday. And so that would be really, really important to somebody who uh, is only going to go on the weekends. I take a day off during the week, so I'm able to go any weekday I can wake up and get a reservation uh, that day typically uh, and if and it's Sundays I go a lot on Sundays after church and so I will also do Sundays but I usually have a reservation for Sunday because I have to the second con would be uh, there's no trolling motors it's all anchors so I wish I had a trolling motor so that I could just uh, kind of troll around and fish uh, but uh, without one it makes it harder you got to find a spot an anchor every single time and it's not the end of the world but I sure wish that there was trolling motors so that I could uh, navigate easier, work my way around, throw artificial. It's just hard to do that with an anchor sometimes. But really, those are the two, uh, the two cons for me. The positives way outweigh the cons. And so the, the number one pro for me would be the convenience and the cost. I've owned two boats before. The monthly payment of the boat or paying for a boat is very, very expensive. The maintenance of a boat, the storage of a boat, all of that is very expensive. Uh, we, we paid our initiation fee, which depends on what kind of membership you want, membership you want to get. Uh, but we paid our initiation fee based on the membership we have. And then we pay a monthly fee, and that's it. If the boat breaks down, which it has twice for me, I've been a member for almost two years now, and twice the boat is broken down on the water. And both times a member of the boat club came out on the water either fix the boat and I continue to stay in the water or move me to another boat and I stayed on the water. So that's another pro, by the way, the convenience of that. But I didn't have any cost to fix the boat. I didn't have to get it towed. I had none of that inconvenience. So that's a huge, huge pro for me. The storage cost, no storage cost. And then when I come back, I uh, get out of my boat, take everything with me and go. They fuel it up, put that on my credit card, clean the boat. And when you show up, the boat's ready to go. The staff's amazing. Mike and his team here in St. Augustine, their service is unbelievable. Also at the, the Jack's Beach uh, Club as well, and also Julington Creek. The staff's always amazing every time we go. So that would be uh, one of the biggest pros. Reciprocal reservations. That's something we really, my wife and I used, to, used a lot. We have gotten boats in Detroit, Michigan. We have gotten a boat in uh, Panama City. We've gotten a boat in Tampa. We've gotten a boat in Destin. And so we are able to reserve boats in other locations. Now, it's not easy to get one every time. We have not been able to book one in the Keys, which we've tried to do. That's a very busy club. They don't have many boats down there. So it's not a guarantee that you'll get a reciprocal reservation. But to have the convenience and the possibility of getting a boat, we've, we've been able to do it every single time we wanted to, except the Keys. Now we planned ahead of time, so you want to make sure you do that. So that, of course, is a huge, huge pro is the ability to use a boat somewhere else. I have to tow it and use it somewhere else. So the, the service I've already talked about is unbelievable. The different types of boats, there are six different types of boats, pontoon boats, deck boats, dual console, offshore, uh, flats boats, inshore, uh, single console, every kind of boat you want. So if you want to take the kids out on the pontoon, you can do that. If you want to go out offshore 25 miles, you can do that as well. So the number of boats is really an awesome thing too. If you own a boat, you got one kind of boat. With the club, you really got six different kinds of boats. There are 39 different boats here in St. Augustine. I believe there's about 25 at Jack's Beach, and there's about 20 or so at Julington Creek. So they have a lot of 
a lot of boats at this this club. We are members of all three. So when you're a member of that franchise or that licensee, then you can use all three clubs as part of your membership. The reciprocal ones are when you go somewhere else, which you can also use, but you just have to uh, put those uh, you know further ahead of time because they only allow a certain percentage of their memberships to go to reciprocal reservations. Um, so as you can tell, I love the boat club. I would join. I wanted to give you the two cons, and those are really the cons for me. There may be some other cons that people have out there, but the boats are well maintained. They work 99% of the time. Everything on the boat works for me. The service is amazing. The convenience, the price. I, I can't say enough good things about them. But if you are a weekend warrior, you want to really think about that part of it. Because I hate for you to join, and then you can only get a boat, you know, three times out of ten that you want to go out. So that's something to really consider if you're wanting to join the club. So uh, if you'd like to, you can uh, hopefully you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Watch some of the fishing in St. Augustine. But if you have questions, you can comment below, and I answer all the questions I get. I'll be glad to answer your question to see if there's something that uh, that I can help you with. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I hope this helped you, and have a wonderful night. God bless.